That's getting interesting again. For one thing, you're away from the noise of the lawnmower and the outsourced contractor. And look, there's a little bridgey thing. This, for some reason, has had some rock tossed into it in the recent past. And this again might be one of the points where it becomes handy as a usable right away. We'll have to see. You know, the old cool granite stone cribbing. I don't know if it's granite actually, what am I saying? Who knows what it is? But it's an example of the artisanry of a time now long past. Looks like we got a bit of a washout here, but the old ties may serve to get us through. Sort of micro blowdown as well. Hmm, what do we have? An abandoned Fody. Ooh, it'd be mucky. Probably dries somewhat. Whoa! <laughs> Gotta stay on the ties. Probably dries somewhat over the year. <laughs> Quite a bit of graffiti. And man, the stuff reeks. Serious stagnant water. Okay. How do we traverse this? We walk the rail. There, our urban hazard traverse has been attained. Although it looks like now we're just in for more brushy overgrowth. Nonetheless, this is fairly interesting. There seems to be escape routes. Look at how twisted the old track has become over time. Yes, there is some evidence of it being maintained as a kind of vernacular path. I can hear scuttling squirrels. And there's a strange pile of old rusting iron stuff. What pray tell could it be? Ah, old abandoned rail power platform signal platforms and things. Wow. It's an old railway signal something with some kind of brand name from US and S company. Swissvale, Pennsylvania. Continue this folly. I think I can hear a yellow throat doing its witchetty witchetty thing. Or I mean something of what might be called an urban wild. Now we're getting back to overgrown, although it looks like a kind of harmless, good nature overgrowth. It doesn't seem to be 
a lot of bramble thickets, just your basic forest understory. Ooh. And here's a path to some old ravine. Probably a remnant of the original glacier contours. So there's this tiny little bit of pine forest with some good intention but otherwise ineptly placed bird boxes. Right here in the middle of Cambridge. And we came from there. That was surely a pleasant little diversion. Yeah, you're just kind of. It's more redundancy at this point. Kind of just walking alongside. Fresh pond paths. And there's another cross path. Leading up to the street, no doubt. Here on Ave, probably. Hi, Hi little pooch. turn into a bramble hell or will it actually be amenable? So far it's kind of pleasant. It's like you're Urban Wilds alternate route <laughs> if you're going through Fresh Pond. You can have the immaculately groomed Urban Municipal Park thing just right over here. Or you can pretend you're a hobo from a lost era and follow a rail line that may have once carried the ordinance that powers battleships like the Arizona now moldering away in Pearl Harbor as a monument. Oh, there's another cross path. And more of that cool stone work we've come to know. So this is our divergence. Fresh pond expands into a park that way. <laughs> 